the channel. Today, everybody, Jeff and I are gonna be driving around Los Angeles going to the top three pizza places to see who has the best pizza in all of Los Angeles. The way we determine the best three places, we used a mixture of Yelp reviews, articles, eater.com, ranker. We used everything, we compiled what we think are the best three pizza places. All right, Jeff, give me your pizza reviewing credentials. The crust has to be good. The sauce has to be good. Everything else is usually like a, a topping. It has to be very crispy. I'm not as big on the crispy part. Oh, you don't like crispy pizza? I don't dislike it. I do like it thin, but okay. it doesn't have to be super crispy for me. Uh, me personally, I like the more like kind of classical Italian style with like the blotches of cheese. Oh, more you're than about like the mozzarella. The, yeah, right? like the fresh mozzarella. But hey, I love the thing with pizza, oh, even okay. bad pizza is good pizza. That's fact. Let's hope it lives up to, lives lives up to, up to the, the expectations. Yeah, exactly. The first one we're going to, Pizzana. All right, let's see y'all at Pizzana. All right, guys, we are here in Brentwood, right outside Pizzano. Unfortunately, they're not doing dine-in yet. They're waiting till June 15th when LA officially, officially reopens, even though like everything's reopened by now. So Jeff and I are gonna grab our pizzas and take it to the park. Whoa. Okay, so Jeff and I got two pizzas. We're gonna do two from each place. We're gonna do a standard margarita pizza and whatever the most popular special pizza is, so. Mm -hmm. In this case, it is a, I don't I don't know how to say this word, bro. Cacio e pepe, it's like pepper and uh, Parmesan. But we're gonna start with the margarita. I don't know what all this green stuff is, but it's interesting. Oh, I'm hungry, man. Dude, cheers, brother. I'm hungry. <laughs> this looks so good. Yeah, yeah this so looks awesome. amazing. Pizza cheers. Cheers. Ching. That is so good. That is Dude, really good. good. Worth the wait, would you say? We had to wait a good amount of minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah, Jeff and I had to wait like 35 minutes. We did come before they were open, mm -hmm. and it looked like they didn't really, they weren't ready for us, but <laughs> this is really good. I see what you mean by the crust doesn't have to be too crunchy, because this one's not too crunchy, and it's almost perfect. Where the crust doing? is really good. The tomato is really the star of the pizza, I would mm -hmm. say. How do you like the cheese? I feel like the cheese is a little, it's, it's good, but I feel like it's not a very strong, bold flavor. Mm -hmm. But I love the texture of everything. Like, texturally, this is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. 100%. I might come back for another margarita slice. <laughs> Caucho y pepe. All right. All right, go for it. You got the first devil. No, I got first last time. All right, so let me, uh, I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, so cool. Good. I was eyeing a different slice. Good. Pizza cheers. Pizza cheers. This has to be my favorite episode, yeah, for sure. Whoa. Mm. Mm. I feel like the part in the middle is What is that white sauce? I don't know if it's a sauce or is it the cheese. I don't really like that part. Really? I'm the opposite. I'm like, I wish that was all over the Do pizza. You like that I'm the spreading most? it. Alright. My bad. Oh no, I got it no. on my shoes! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cheesy garlic cheese bread. Yeah. With some... This is, this is good, but I feel like the normal one was better. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I would get the normal one over this one. What do you think for the price range? So these pizzas cost like what? $20 and $21? Mm -hmm. It's tough. This is some of the better pizza I've had, mm -hmm. but I feel like pizza is so tough because even like bad pizza is still really good. But I low-key, I feel like pizza would be more expensive than I feel like. Like every time I order Domino's with a group, it always comes out to way more than I think it will. Yeah, right. Like, so high-key, I feel like this is a good deal. Yeah, 20 bucks a pizza, really good. Good portion too. It's not the biggest pizza though. Not the biggest pizza for sure, but I like that a lot. This is setting the bar pretty high for the first, for the first pizza. The bar has been set. But I think I think we'll find a way to top it. All right, you ready to go to the next spot? Let's go. Let's go. Jeff, where are we going next? We are going to Desano Pizzeria. Okay. Are you okay. excited? Uh, I'm excited. Yes. Okay. So can you tell? One of their most popular dishes besides the margarita pizza is called the Desano Pizza. So we're gonna get the margarita and the Desano Pizza. Yeah. So the Desano Pizza has tomato sauce, sausage, pepperoni, garlic, mozzarella. Sounds like a lot of meat. Dude, I love to eat meat. You know me, carnivore <laughs> gang. All right, the meat gang is, is, is on its way over there. Bro, chicken is a vegetable. Bro, are you serious? Oh yeah. I thought you liked chicken. I do, but it's it's a vegetable. Are you gonna disrespect like, it and call it a vegetable? This is why I have cholesterol problems at 25. What? Weren't you only supposed to eat meat twice a year? No, a month. A month. 
You I, have surpassed that limit, sir. I feel like you've been eating red meat here and there all the time. All like right, what, did I, what did I have yesterday? I had rice for dinner. We had Brazilian steak. We did. That was so good. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys at the we'll restaurant. At the rest we are here at Tisano Bakery and Pizzeria, and uh, I'm excited to get inside. It's very old looking. I don't know if that will be from ET89. I'm just going to assume it does. Uncultured. So let's hop inside and uh, check out this pizza. The crust is definitely the highlight. I wish the tomato was more flavorful like the other place. The cheese is overpowering the whole thing. Yeah, a little bit. Which one do you like better? I think I like the Disano pizza better. All right, Jeff, we just finished with Disano. Now, you guys probably didn't hear a lot of our feedback. The music was blaring in there. Very loud. So, um, you know, I'm gonna give my thoughts. The crust from this place was just phenomenal. The texture, literally quintessential perfect. <laughs> the sauce and the cheese, I thought we're lacking especially compared to the other place there was a lot more oil on this one So you would think there'd be more flavor But the other one was more flavorful in my opinion What really set these places apart was the tomato this one had very little tomato sauce or like yeah. uh, the pizza sauce on it But other than that, um, which one did you you said you liked the Dizano pizza better than the margarita But you ended up eating more margarita pizza. Yeah, what was going on there? Cholesterol, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, I will say to Dizano's credit, like, you know, it feels a lot more blue collar. The vibe was just, it was just a better vibe. Like, I will say, Pisano, a little pretentious feeling. They're kind of judging us, I feel like. We, I felt a little judged. I felt a little judged. <laughs> Pizza was absolutely amazing. <laughs> felt a little judged. Yeah, yeah. So the vibes here, they kind of just let you order and do your own thing. And, and they, they just, just cook it all around you. Yeah. It was really cool. So dope. You guys saw the B-roll. Yeah. So, dope. so uh, we have a we have a third spot to go to. Let's uh, hop in the time travel machine because they don't open till 5.30 and Jeff and I needed to get a res, so we're not going today. We're going to Matza. They need my credit card just to take a res, so this place is gonna be some fancy smancy, very bougie, white tablecloth, something's, something's going on. It better be good. Next pizza spot. Guys, it is now Sunday night. Jeff and I are back on the pizza grind. We dressed very snazzy today. You did, you dressed very snazzy. I'm casual today. You're wearing jeans. I don't know if I've ever seen you wear jeans before. Today, guys, we are going to the heart of Los Angeles. We are going uh, just south of Hollywood. I don't know if that's actually, but I would not, I, that is not the heart of Los Angeles, is it? We're going back to LA. We're going back to LA. Guys, we are going to Pizzeria Maza. Mario Batelli, celebrity chef, used to be a part of this. No longer, but at one point, he was there. LA looks beautiful at night. Oh my God. It's a beautiful city. All right, we'll see you guys in the restaurant. B-roll. Jeff, what's your excitement level? I'm the most excited for the margarita. Because yeah. Because we tried two other spots that have really good margarita pizzas, but I feel like this one's gonna top it. I'm the most excited for the margarita pizza. So we asked them what the most popular non-margarita pizza is, and they said the Cacio e Pepe. It's the same secondary pizza we got from the first spot, so it'll be a nice comparison. And we also got a caprese salad, so super excited for that. I haven't seen James this excited in a minute. When it comes to maybe like making a good drink, cocktail drink, he has that, <laughs> or coming to a nice restaurant, he is like, a, like a kid, like, like you know, like excited for like the newest thing. It's just so dope. Well, oh, that's different. Okay. Good. Oh my god. Got your pepper looks crazy. This looks so good. The sauce and the crust are just incredible. I wish there was a bit more cheese. Uh, it's a little sparsy, you know, but this is, bro, this is special. Is this better than the uh, other two spots that we tried? This is opinion? my favorite so far. This is by far the best spot. Yeah, this is so 
good. <laughs> if we had more cheese, like, there's an empty spot without cheese. But. It's pretty good. It's about on par with the other place, I would say. The pepper comes through a lot stronger. The margarita, this is my favorite one we've had today, by far. All right, this one looks intense but amazing. It looks like there's already cheese bits on top of it. A little oil drizzle. And here we go. No. I think this is better than the other spot. The pepper comes through so much better yeah, at this place. Good. Yeah. This is my, my, my rank number one. Alright, Jeff. We've eaten at three fantastic pizza places. Cut and dry, Jeff. What was your favorite spot? My favorite spot definitely was Monza. It takes number one. What about you? My favorite spot was also Mazza. What about second place? Second place, it's not uh, like a far decision for me. It has to be Pizzana. I know you like the vibes yeah, of- Yeah, this is tough. I, <laughs> I did think Pizzana was a better pizza. Yeah. I can't lie, but I just, the vibe check at Di Sana was, was a top tier vibe. I, I really liked it. All right, if I'm taking my girlfriend there, I'm going to Pizzano. If I'm going with the homies, I'm going to Di Sano. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if me and Jeff should do more videos like these. And if we should, what type of food should we do? And what city should we go to next for the next budget meals episode? I'm doing San Diego. I don't know if that came out already or after this, before this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Let me know which place you thought looked the best. And peace. peace.